Railway Challenge is a fantastic competition for our future railway engineers where they have to design, build and then run on a railway track uh, locomotives that they've built themselves during the last academic year. It has to go through a number of technical challenges around energy efficiency, performance, traction, safety, ride comfort, noise, maintainability. Uh, with a point scoring basis to show that they've done the best job with the best locomotive that can be produced. It's a really good competition to teach young engineers how to work in teams to tight technical deadlines with clearly defined objectives and I think it's a really great experience for them and a lot of fun. The competition's excellent to introduce new engineers because it's an exciting way to get involved. What I like about it is it's a practical hands-on experience that utilises their academic studies into a practical application and that's exciting and a great challenge for them to really prove that they can use what they've learnt during their course. It opens undergraduates eyes as to the possibilities of the industry. Personally from you know I'm, I'm in the industry now and I'm, I'm on the graduate side it's really given me and my colleagues an, an opportunity to get on the hands-on side and really implement a design so, so normally in our, in our work life we've always spent small amounts of time on each in each area and each placement and this really gave us the opportunity to see a project life cycle through so you know from the concepts and feasibility stage right through design to building and testing so it's a perfect opportunity for that. Um, beyond that it's also an opportunity to work with your peers. I mean we're made up of mechanical and electrical engineers and also a number of fleet apprentices and it's the first opportunity that we've had to work with them so it's it's really opened our eyes to, to the inner workings of our company. The participants benefit from getting some uh, real life uh, hands on experience. Um, they also have to provide a design challenge report, so this is a full analysis as to why they've chosen and specified a particular design. They also have to give us a business case presentation, so as if they're selling 50 units to a corporate organisation. And then not only that, they actually have to build a locomotive and compete in challenges against each other. We've we picked up a lot of practical experience doing it during the manufacturing, which you don't always see at university studying. Um, yeah, and it's great CV material, it's, it's great to, you know, to, to talk to other people, the judges here, the professionals, uh, and the graduate firms as well, just to get an idea of graduate schemes and generally what the rail industry is all about. This is it's really meant you can implement your own designs and you see, you know, you design things and you see the issues with, with building them and trying to compile them in an assembly and it really gives you an appreciation of when you begin a job and you begin the design side to think at the end, you know, how are you going to get this thing together, how are you going to work with it. It's also, you know, vastly improved our communication skills as a team. Um, the difficulty with the way that we run the project is we run it alongside our work primarily, so we're a team uh, of, of, of ten graduates, apprentices, but you know, we don't all work in the same office, we've never worked together and it's, it's overcoming the difficulties of being sort of dispersed amongst the, the business but coming together to produce this has been, been a real achievement. Uh, the participants are judged over a number of different challenges. Um, there is ride comfort, so how it feels for the judge to be um, in the train. Attraction, so how well they can pull a load and um, they're also energy storage, so energy recovery. So this is where they travel for a certain distance, um, storing that energy, and then when they break to a complete standstill and then use that energy they store. There are two paper-based challenges, the design report and the business case. Um, a design report has to be submitted about a month in advance and the business case is in the form of a pitch. And you have to pitch the locomotive you produce, the, the idea being uh, you're, you're a uh, train manufacturer and you're pitching to sell 50 of these locomotives to uh, a panel which are made up by the judges. The competition is actually organised by the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. I'd say it's a development of what we did with Formula Student which has been so successful over the last 17 years and we wanted to do something to extend the value of the Formula Student competition where students build racing cars into other sectors for students that may not be so interested in cars. I think one of the other really beneficial parts of this competition is the value to employers and we know from 
the Formula Student Team uh, competition that's run for the last 17 years, that employers now actively seek out students that have had experience in the Institution of Mechanical Engineers competitions. I'm quite sure that the Railway Challenge is going in the same direction and that employers will use it as the benchmark for the best students. So this uh, competition is one of a kind because it pits industry up against universities um, and what makes it very exciting is it's not always industry that win um, which a lot of people would expect um, universities have won uh, twice and it, it's a great competition and a great experience for the young engineers. I think the Railway Challenge is really exciting and important because it's really looking to the future of technology. It's where rail traction is going in the future, it's pushing the boundaries of what's possible and it really challenges the students to think in creative new ways and all those things add up to a very exciting competition.